Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTGB foundation level certifications. We are in chapter two talking about testing throughout the software development lifecycle and continuing ahead with our second segment that is 2.2 test levels and test types. And as a part of that, as it is a big topic, we are still continuing with 2.2.1 that is test levels. And as a part of this tutorial, we'll be picking up the next level of testing, which is component integration testing. So in the very new syllabus of ISTKB foundation level, the board has merged the integration testing level into two different parts, that is component integration testing and system integration testing. So don't be worried and don't be surprised that where is the integration testing level. However, in the reality also, the integration testing is now being conducted into multiple levels like component integration or system integration, and it's all about that. So that's where in this new syllabus, you will not find a topic called as integration testing, but I will still give you a quick outline that what does that even mean? But as of today's trend, we do not have it uh, as a standalone level. It just happens at different further levels. So today we are talking about component integration testing and component integration testing, as the name suggests, is all about inter interactions or interfaces or integration between two or more components within a same module. Sometimes it can be between modules as well, but as far as it is just limited to two particular components. So in order to talk about component integration testing, the synonyms what we use for integrations are even called as interfaces, interactions, or communications, which are just another name for integration testing. So it is mainly to test the interfaces or interaction between the components of a system. Also, component integration testing is heavily dependent on integration strategy approaches like bottom-up, top-down, or big bang approaches. So first of all, uh, what could be a quick example to talk about what should I Call it as in component integration now component integration as the name suggests it is more of like the interaction between two or more components which happens within an application so one of the right example is given on the screen right here and the example here we are talking about a sign up form or a form which allows you to register yourself on different websites and here if you notice we have got three important fields what we are talking about that is country state or province and city now, we all have experienced filling up this form ourselves at some or the other time. And we know very well that this particular option allows us to select a country first. Then after selecting a country, then the state list or province list gets optimized or gets listed with those states and province which are as per your country selected. Similarly, if I continue further, the state being selected after that, the city list will be published. And without that, you cannot proceed ahead. Now, even if you fill up all the three fields, and if you go back to the country and change the, the value of the country, then the other two fields, that is state and city, will be cleared and reset to select a value. Now, that totally makes sense and understands that what exactly interaction is all about between components. So if I consider each of these drop down fields as an individual component, I'm having some kind of interfaces, some kind of interaction or some type of integration between these components. That means they're not independent anymore, but the other, the one set of field depends on another set of fields value. If the value is incorrect or value is not selected, the other fields will not show you any value at all. And such examples, what can be very well and easily referred to what is component integration testing. But is that something which is mandatory to be conducted in all levels or all at all type of applications? Answer is absolutely not. It is not mandatory subjected your application or your system have such features embedded in it, then you will conduct this level. Otherwise, you will move to the integration level itself, which is more of like the combination of two or more modules together, but not the entire flow, but just two or more modules, maybe three or four, and then try to test their integrations or interactions. Yes, that's a slight difference between component integration and integration testing. The component integration testing is about interfaces between two or more components within the same application or within the same module. But integration testing in general is interfaces or communication between two or more modules of an application. 
And in that context, integration can also be conducted even if you don't have component integration testing. The reason why ISTQB has decided to remove that level from our discussion because integration is just not one activity to be conducted. It can be between components, it can be between different parts of system, or it can be within systems. That means between systems. So system integration will be the next level we'll be talking about and integrations can happen at many places. Not only that, if I talk about web services like APIs, like REST APIs or SOAP APIs, which is like application programming interfaces. Now these are also interfaces, thus integration testing is even conducted here and very well required to integrate to that of the application so that the right request has been processed and right response has been received and displayed on the application too. So put together, there are such things which we will be talking one by one, keeping this particular tutorial simple and to the point we are just limited to component integration. The next topic we'll be talking about is system testing. Following that, we will talk about system integration so that you can have a wonderful and very detailed explanation of each one of them. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning. Thank you.